I'm Aaron. And I'm Megan. And we are Lowcast. Oh, wait a minute. We changed our name. Our name is the Close Pros now. We changed it from Lowcast Pros because we thought it sounded better. And plus, we wanted everything uniform across our social media platforms. So, Happy New Year to everyone. Happy New Year. Glad the 2020 is over with. And I just ate whipped cream from a can. Well, that's a way to start the year. Don't tell the wife. I was like, <laughs> Well, I hope everyone had a fun New Year's Eve and has a um, long time because we have a lot to show you. Yep. You forgot to introduce someone. Oh, Betty. This is Betty, our lovely assistant. She's our in-house model for all of our finds that we get, and she just models whatever we put on her for our videos. Mm, we pay her in Cheetos. <laughs> all right. Uh, this first... Jacket. I'm gonna start us off by the way. It's a blazer from J. Crew, women's size six. There you go. So you don't think I'm lying to you. Uh, this is a tan color with the gold buttons there at the bottom. We found this at the bins. I couldn't believe I found it, and I couldn't believe there was nothing wrong with it. By the way, pinstripe inside. Pinstripe inside for all the pimps out there. Here's the back of it. It's in really great condition. Yes. And I'm still shocked. It's in, I thought I was going to get it home and then I was going to find some kind of, uh, I don't know, pepto bismol stain on it or something. But I didn't. It was it's a very nice blazer and I think I have it listed for 40 or $50. I and mean, the price, the comps are way higher, obviously, on it. So, yeah. Gay crew in the house. So, before I go any further, I just want to say this haul is from New Year's Day. We got up early, oh, went, yeah. we went to the bins on New Year's Day, and we were super excited because there was hardly anybody in there, except for the vultures. Those people get on my nerves. So the vultures are the people that are there every single day. They are there all day. They wait for the rotations to go in and out of the new um, bins. And he saw something funny the other day. This guy... The guy, every time we go there, there's these two guys that are always there. They have lawn chairs set up inside of the bins. Anyway, one of them, when I was walking outside to get something out of my car, had the Domino's Pizza Man deliver him pizza to the front door of the bins. Like, that's how long they're there. They're there all day. They sit through all the rotations. Once they go pick through the bins, they go to their little corner, their lawn chairs and their pile. So I thought I had seen it all until I saw him hand him a pepperoni and sausage pizza yeah i mean i'm not gonna lie i was kind of jealous i, was like, I know i did not think of that we were there for probably three hours and by the end i was so hungry i thought man i guess mm. they're the smart ones huh yep jokes on us yeah so anyway moving on this is also we got on our haul from the bins a white nike shirt breaking all the rules <clears throat> so very rarely can you find something white that's almost in perfect condition um, without spots or stains on it from the bins. It is Nike Dry Fit Size Large. Here's the tag for you guys. Yeah, and my rule, because I've learned a harsh lesson, is don't ever get anything white at the bins. You might not see the stain or hole or whatever it is while you're there, and you'll think, oh, I can't believe it. But it never turns out that way until this yeah. time. Because the lighting at the bins isn't very it isn't very good. And then you get it home in better light and you're like, oh, I didn't see that there. Speaking of lighting, as you can see, our video is brighter because we oh, yeah. bought a new light. Uh, sorry for the glare of my glasses. I can't help it. <clears throat> We're still working on the angles, the height, the distance because um, he's got a glare on his glasses. Or I look like Casper. Our last vi videos were... Um, really dark and then the coloring for the clothing doesn't always show up um correctly so and then just on this lastly on this nike shirt it's got these cool um like triangle patterns all throughout the shirt which is really different for a nike shirt i've never seen one kind of like this usually they're more just a plane with the with the logo so this is listed in our closet as well all right let me see if i can get this zippered up before i show you this one He's having a lot of trouble with the zipper. Oh, come on. 
Never mind. All right, so this is a women's small. I saw this at the bins. It looked brand new. Uh, I, I really think it might be brand new. It's Beldini, women's size small. There's the tag. Uh, it has a black and white. What kind of pattern did you say that was? I, I believe this is called houndstooth. Correct me if I'm wrong. Maybe but nothing but a hound dog. All right. <laughs> Houndstooth pattern along the sleeves and the edges, and you got to you got to show them the zipper. The big cuffs, and uh, the reason why I wanted to zip this up, so I could show you the zipper. But I guess I'm gonna have to unzip it. Never mind. Zip. Okay, so <laughs> <laughs> both zippers have little fake diamonds. They're blingy. Bling bling. Every time I come around, you see. If you don't know that song, you're either too young or too old, and I can't <laughs> hang out with you. Oh, Lord. So, yeah, Beldini and the Hizzy. All right, what's up next? Oh, I got these, which are Under Armour size. These are medium? Hmm. Medium. Let me see. Hold them up. I can't remember. These are size medium? Oh, they're the cropped ones, right? These are cropped with... um. Well, I'll show you the tag real quick because I didn't, I thought these were small because I was planning on maybe possibly putting them in my closet if they were, but they are, um, they have the breast cancer awareness logo on the back and they have, these actually have, um, pockets, which is always good. Like if you're a runner and you want to put your house key or money or something in there, small pocket, but they're, um, cropped with this pink, it's like. Mesh. mesh, yeah. Jinx. Oh. Like this meshy material. It says Under Armour on there on the leg. These are really cute. I like them. Mm. And if you don't buy them, I might steal them. I don't even know if I have those posted, to be honest with you yet. Well. I might not. On that note. I don't know. I have to check. Well, since let's keep with the theme here. Uh, those were breast cancer awareness leggings. Oh, yeah. And we got this style and company women's size small. Bam. This is a breast cancer awareness shirt. I think this shirt's pretty cool. Yes. It has a logo right there with all the sparkly. It's kind of blingy. Yeah. Uh, it has words on it. Let's see. Inspire, cure, hope, uh, empower, inspire. Did I already say inspire? I might, yeah, I already said it. But <coughs> anyway, this is a pretty cool shirt for breast cancer awareness. Is that listed in our closet? This is. I did list it today. Uh, okay. I have it for 15 or 20 bucks. You'll notice that I list a lot of things for 15 or 20 bucks because that's our sweet spot. This is our sweet spot. There's the back of it. Let me get show you what it looks like from a little better distance. And yeah. as I've said before, if you guys see anything that you like that we're showing in any of our haul videos, please feel free to contact us for a direct sale. We can make you a deal. Um... Poshmark, look in our closet, see what we've got in our prices. Um, Instagram, clo the clothes pros. The clothes pros. The clothes pros. On Poshmark, Instagram, and obviously here. And then you can email us also at hubbywifey859 at, at gmail.com. Hubbywifey859 at gmail.com. You can save faster. All right, go ahead. Okay. I didn't want them to get confused with that at that you try to miss through in there. I know, I know. <laughs> okay. So this is really adorable. This is our first time. We we found a couple of first time brands at, yeah. on our New Year's Day haul. I didn't know there were so many brands out there. Yeah, we're still learning. I mean, there's so I many. knew there were a lot of brands, but I didn't know that there were a lot of expensive brands. I only thought there were like yeah a handful. And then there's like branches of brands yeah. that we're learning about. Michael as by well. Michael Kors. What's up with that? Why are you gotta name your brand Ralph, and then put your first name by Michael Kors, and then it's cheaper. Anyway, don't get me started. Go ahead. Okay, so back to the super adorable pink sweater. This is by Cynthia Raleigh. Raleigh, this is our. First Hi, mom. <laughs> My mom's name is Cynthia. Go ahead. Oh Lord, um, Cynthia Raleigh, size medium. And, um, again, this is our first time finding her, and it's got this super cute scalloped neckline. She's been waiting all night. I already tell you right now, she's been waiting all night to say scalloped neckline. She had that in her bag before we started. Well, how many times do you get to use the term scalloped neckline? 
This is the first time I've ever heard it. That's why I knew you already had it in your bag ready to go. Exactly. So, I mean, that's why I got so excited. You don't get to say scalp neckline very often. No. Okay. Then no. it's got two little pockets at the bottom. And in the back, it's got these little buttons up the back of the neck. And it's really, really soft. So, I thought it was adorable. It's in our closet. I Can think I... that is listed for 30 which 30. is very cheap when I saw the comps on her clothing. All right. Uh, what do I want to show? Oh, okay. So, this is a men's size large Banana Republic polo. It's pink, but I like to call it Pepto-Bismol color because that's what it looks like. Pepto. It's not, dark, it's not dark enough to be Pepto. It's... You kidding me? It looks kind of light. Well, it is kind of light. It's pretty light. It reminds me of Pepto Bismol, all right? I think you can tell the color better in our pictures on our closet if you really want to. Yeah. So, yeah. But in Republic Men's Polo Size Large, this is listed for, I think, 20 bucks, even though Men in Republic um, is usually way more expensive than that. I know it's not the. In brand right now, but I'll always wear it. It is classic. It's classic, I think. It is classic. Yeah. Okay, so this next one, my word for this is unique. <laughs> okay. So this is another first time we found this brand, and it is mm -hmm. Zara. And this is a size extra small. So she was across the store <laughs> when I found this. <laughs> okay, so he holds it up, and <laughs> and he's all excited about it, and I'm like, I was like, hey, Megan, check out this shirt. Rawr. Polka dot. With a tiger. With a tiger. How cool is that? So, I said we have to get it because, number one, we, have, we don't have anything Zara. And, two, when will you ever find a shirt like this? Hey, Again, it's unique. It's super unique. And if you are looking for something really different to wear out, or this is your style even, this is a shirt for you. Meow. Listen in our closet. Go snatch it up. Meow. I think that's pretty cool. Meow. Zara, size extra small. Don't you like my cat noises? Uh, I don't mind. like cats. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. I'm going to show this purse. If my Maybe. lovely wife would help me out here. <laughs> this is a Steve Madden leather <laughs> purse. Uh color that best describes this purse is spicy mustard. If you don't think this look, doesn't look like spicy mustard, you need to go have your eyes checked. There's the logo right there. Steve Madden. This basically looks brand new to me. I don't know if it it's does. ever been used. The middle zipper, you unzip it and it has a Steve Madden liner in it. I don't know, there you go. And on, on, on either side of it, you can button it up to the middle part or leave it open. And there you have it, Steve Madden in the house. It's got the long crossbody strap and the two handles for whatever you prefer. I don't know. Actually, I don't have this listed yet, but it's coming. Coming soon. To a theater near you. <laughs> okay, so oh, I'm on a roll with the new brands right now. Yeah, we found a lot of new brands. I think we're expanding we were, our, our horizon. We are, and it was we had a benefit of it being not crowded in there that oh, day. Yeah. So hmm. I'm not sure if I wish it was like that every time. I know it was so nice because number one, it wasn't crowded and elbow to elbow, and two, I think we found some stuff we might not have found if it was mm -hmm. the normal crowd. This is Lily Pulitzer, size extra small. There's your tag. And this is a um, sweater dress that goes down to about knee length um, with the, it's navy blue and gold chevron. And then it's got cap sleeves. And it's pretty, it's sparkly if you can tell there, navy and gold. Super cute. Super cute. I said it. Uh, I, said. I know you said it. <clears throat> yeah, I know you said it. Everyone says it. You can't be a YouTuber unless you say super cute. Apparently not. So, this is a slim, untucked, women's size large J. Crew shirt, button-down shirt. And it's the newer version J. Crew because it's in cursive writing. And I learned that. Apparently, they change 
that type of stuff nowadays. Uh, this is a floral pattern, as you can see. At first, I was like, ugh, what is that? Looks like something Geneva my grandma would wear. It's very busy and colorful. But you the more I look at it, the more I like it for some reason. It does grow on you. It, it really does. Um, and the best thing about it is... On the tag, it says, Reimagined by J. Crew, inspired by the planet and its people, and it's 100% organic cotton. Organic cotton. Which is different from manufactured cotton. I don't know, I guess. As you said, is it made from dirt and plants? Organic, right? Organic. Never mind. <laughs> it's for sale. 25 or $30. Okay. So this next piece is, well, again, another a brand that I have I wasn't familiar with um, and I had never heard of. And it's called Babu, Babo, Babo, Babu, Babu, Babo. I think it's Babo. Babo. Anyway, it's two XL, and here's your tag to um, see exactly what we're talking about. Please correct me if I'm wrong. Oh, they will. Trust me. <laughs> and it is um, a 2XL, like I said, and we are calling this a tunic. And it's got, um, hey, I'm using the word scalloped again. Scalloped Aww. on the side, kind of goes up with a little slit on the side. And then on the back of the sleeve, it's got the button-up sleeves. They're about quarter, three-quarters length sleeves. And this nice plum purple color. And I picked this up because I wanted to expand our sizes a little bit more. We, um, instead of just having a small. A ton of small. Yeah. Small, medium, and large. And this is a 2XL. Small so. and extra small is really. Yeah. Got a hold of our closet. So we're trying, I'm trying to find. Yeah. So I definitely want to pick up. Other sizes. That. Oh, what is this? Oh. So this is a pink Victoria's Secret. Zip up, would you call this jacket or sweater? I don't even know what. It's kind of like. It's like a workout. Yeah. Shirt. Because it's not a fleece. It's not a sweater. It's not a t-shirt. It's it's probably all cotton and spandex. But it's, it's really soft. Well, speaking of size, small. This is small petite. But hey, when you see pink Victoria's Secret stuff at the bins in perfect condition. I don't care what size it is. You're going to pick it up. We did pretty well with Victoria's Secret so far. Have a little They're dog pink. right there. Wolf. Uh, it's in really good shape. Oh, yeah, the collar's pretty cool. It has pink written all in it. Pink, pink, pink. And that's pretty much it. Gray. Uh, it's gray, light gray. But yeah, I think I have this listed for 20 bucks in the it looks, closet. It looks like new as well. Yeah, a little wrinkle, but nothing we can't take care of, which we ordered a steamer. We ordered some supplies on Amazon. We We're are supposed to be here so Tuesday. excited. Yeah. So we're still playing around with all these new gadgets and stuff until we can get this looking good. I know our first videos were a little rough to Gotta watch. Gotta start somewhere, probably. right? Yep. So I was watching a YouTube video and I heard one of them talk about this brand called Mid Minnetonka. Minnetonka, and I had never heard of it before. And so as I was rooting through the bins, I saw it on these shoes. Steve Madden's fallen. These are. Like, these are house slippers type shoes, but you can tell that they're um, pretty much almost like new, I guess. I mean, even though you wear them in the house, there's no wear or anything on them. And they are a size 7. And so I picked these up because I had heard that they do well, so we will see. And if not, they are my size. Just a big coincidence, huh? But they're so comfy inside. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. I mean, I would she love to. She's slick, but she's not. Continue. They're super comfortable. So that's the brand um, that I guess we'll see how they do. Minnetonka. Minnetonka. I have <laughs> trouble saying All right. that. I'm going to let you do these. But okay. I'm going to do these. Oh, yeah. So these are A and A. In other words, other word acronym for a new a, day a new day wait a minute no it's a no. new approach a, a new a. approach good lord anyway these things look brand new they have probably been worn once on the bottom as you can tell but other than that if you didn't look at the bottom you would think that they had never been worn i like to call them sneakers and booties 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 uh 
with the fur on top right there is your size what'd you say seven seven yeah and they got the inside zipper i've never seen any kind of shoes like this with the nope. the bottom is like rubber sole like the like tennis shoes would have but then the top is boots if i was a so, chick i'd rock them i think they're pretty unique so sneakers and booties sneak these <laughs> these booties 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 all right <laughs> okay these are gold hold on but it's let's see if i can get it oh the light there you go Kohan size what were these seven seven and a half i think right seven, um what does the size go on these things seven b oh yeah seven what's b i don't seven know b. i just they're sevens okay but these on the bottom say Kohan and it also says nike air nike air who so, knew I didn't. I feel like that's such an odd collaboration or whatever it is. If you know anything about it, uh, comment below. Let us know. It seems like just too... Totally... I, looked, I looked it up on Google and, I mean, they're Kohan Nike Airs. They're expensive, too, and I yeah. couldn't believe we found these. And they're in great shape, and you can tell that maybe they've never been worn or maybe once. I mean, they're still completely shiny on the bottom. But... um no scratches or wear on the top either, so whoever had them didn't really use them much. Obviously, but... they had money, because you don't get rid of the shoes as expensive after wearing them once, unless you got money. Right, and I mean, Nike Air and Cole Hunt. So, yeah. something different. I didn't You know. learn something new every day. I'll do one more, and you can do one more. Okay. This is a men's size extra large Oscar de la Renta sweater. With the quarter zip on it there. Uh, it's brown with the... What kind of material did you say that was? Fleece. It's like a fleece collar. Fleece collar. Quarter zip. Quarter zip. Very fall looking. Yeah. This is something... This would be perfect for like a Thanksgiving dinner or something. Yeah. But we're not talking about that because we're moving into the future. 2020 is over and I want warm weather and Thanksgiving's out of here. But, there's but you can pick it up for next year. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with this. It's in perfect condition. You don't have to just wear it for Thanksgiving, but... That's the first thing that popped in my head when I saw this. Again, Oscar de la Renta. I think I have a list of for 20, 25, or 30. I'm not sure. Check out our Poshmark closet. All right, I'm going to talk about what Betty's wearing. She's wearing... I'm not sure what it's called. But the brand is... We the Free? We the Free. We the Free. And it's got this cool um, leopard pattern on the front or the whole thing and on the front there is gold buttons that go all the way up and then it's got this uh, cow neck collar and they go all the way up to the top but i'm assuming you would wear it kind of slouchy and so we couldn't figure out what it's exactly called because it's not a cardigan it's not you know because if you pull it out like this it's kind of like poncho looking so but it's got long sleeves and we just thought that it was something really different and um, like you said, it's We the Free, and it is a size extra large. We the Free, I think free people make that, so yes. I'm not, that was at the bins. I'm not going to pass that up. I think I have it listed for $30, 40, so, yeah. $40. I just thought it was something really different. Um, it's different from the normal shapes of different um, sweaters or shirts or whatnot. Yeah, it's not and plain it, Jane, that's for sure. And it would definitely be comfortable. So she says. I would never know. I think so. I'll never wear it. I hope not. Anyway, that's the end of our video. I have to have a little chat with her. I don't know. Look us up on Instagram. The Clothes Pros. Poshmark Closet. The Clothes Pros. YouTube, please like and subscribe to this video. And if you need to contact us through email... Uh, hubbywifey859 at gmail.com. Megan, do you have anything else to say to the people? I would like to say Happy New Year, and hopefully 2021 brings you guys all a safe and healthy Happy New Year. We'll leave it at that. Peace, people. Bye.